This is Grade 5, Module 4, Lesson 25. The objective is to divide a whole number by a unit fraction. This lesson covers standard 5 OA1, 5 NBC7, and 5 NF7. This is problem 1 from the homework. This problem reads 4 divided by half. Now today in this lesson we learned that we could draw a tape diagram and a number line to help us solve this problem. So I'm going to draw my tape diagram and the whole thing will represent 4. That means that I need to partition this box into fourths. At the same time I'm going to draw a number line underneath to represent each box. One, two, three, four. Now because I'm dividing the four into halves, I need to partition each segment, each box, in half again. So I'm going to partition that in half, this one, the third one, and the fourth one. And so we're going to write underneath. This would be 0 over 2. This would be 1 over 2. 2 over 2, which is equal to 1 whole. This one would be 3 over 2, 3 halves. 4 halves. 5 halves. 6 halves. 7 halves. Or 8 halves. And you can count them. 1 two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I can say that there are eight halves. You can look at this and also say to yourself, how many halves are in one whole? So here is one whole from here to here. How many halves are in that one whole? Two. So I'm just going to write there are two halves in one whole. Now if you know that, how many halves would be in the four holes? So you could do it two ways. You can count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or if you know that there's two in one, you can count by twos. Two, four, six, eight. So I can say there are eight halves in four holes. Now if they asked you this question here, if four is half, what is the whole? So I know that this tape diagram will again help me. So if I draw my tape diagram, now I need to figure out what the whole is. I need to figure this out. And they're saying if 4 is half. So if I partition this in half and they're telling me that half is equal to 4, what would this half be equal to? 4 as well. 4 plus 4 is 8. And there again I have my answer. Now there is another way that you can solve this and it's something that you should get used to doing because it will help you solve it a little bit faster. If I take this problem and I rewrite it down here, 4 divided by half. What you can do is bring down your 4 and make your division sign, turn it into a, a multiplication sign and then flip your fraction, flip your second number. It's also called the inverse, you're going to flip it. So instead of having 1 over 2, you're going to have 2 over 1. Then we can cross multiply. That 4 is really a 4 over 1 times 2 over 1. 4 times 2 is 8. 1 times 1 is 1. 8 over 1 is also equal to 8.